Hello my friends, Ivan here at IvanMeta.com. In this video, I want to show you how to set up Microsoft or Bing Ads conversion tracking for your website. This is going to be an incredible addition, a very powerful addition to your Microsoft advertising, where you will be able to see if you set this up properly, as I will show in my video, you will be able to see conversions for your campaigns, for ad groups, for ads, keywords, landing pages, demographics, ages, genders, locations, ad schedule, every, every minor detail, you will be able to see conversions under that specific subset. Now, before we dive straight into it, guys, make sure to hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release more videos just like this. That being said, we are gonna dive right in. So I have here a sample landing page that I've been using for example purposes here with us with Unbounce. And this is the landing page, so people will be able to enter their email. And then this is going to be our thank you page, okay? And I will show you exactly where to add all the codes that you need. So the first thing we have to do is go to Microsoft Ads and create something called a UET tag. And this UET tag is basically a Microsoft code, which you will put on your page, which will allow your website and Microsoft to communicate with each other so that Microsoft kind of keeps track of your website. Oops. So in order to set this up, you're gonna click on tools and you're going to click on UET tag, okay? We're gonna be using these two here mainly. So click on UET tag. And as you can see, I already have quite a lot of tags set up. You do not need many, you only need one, all right? But I've set these up for illustration and other videos. Um, so what you will do is if you don't have one set up is click on create UET tag. You're gonna confirm that and you're gonna give it a name. So let's say another, <laughs> YouTube UET tag, okay? And you can enter a description if you want. Uh, de the description is gonna show up here. You can edit that. You cannot delete your tags after you create them, okay? So that's why it's not a good idea to create just many of them because it's gonna look ugly. Uh, but that being said, yeah, no issues with making many if you have to, but you only really need one. So here is the UET code. So you have to add this code on every page of your website. So in my case, I'm using Unbounce. I'm going to go in here and add the code to every page of the site. If you have the ability to add this code one time for your entire website, do that, okay? Uh, with Unbounce, I'm just gonna show you how to do it at each specific page level, but if you have the option to do it once, like for your entire website, you should do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on copy. We are going to, it says here, control C, or if you're on a Mac, the Mac sign C, but I'm just gonna do it manually here by clicking copy so you see what I'm doing. We can click okay. Let's go back to our landing page here. I'm gonna select JavaScript, click on add new JavaScript. Now I am using Unbounce, guys, okay? So if you are using any other page builder, just find the JavaScript section. You have to find where to put the code. If you don't see a JavaScript section anywhere, then contact support and ask them, say, hey, I want to put Microsoft Ads code on my page so I can track sales. Can you tell me where I would put this code? And they will point you in the right direction to help you find this JavaScript area, okay? Uh, but, it's, but it's very simple, every, pretty much like 99% of all landing page builders have this. So uh, we're gonna create a new JavaScript and we're just going to paste it right here. We're gonna name this because we don't want to get this confused later on. We're gonna say Microsoft Ads UET tag. And we wanna put this in the head section, okay? So that it loads first. And we're gonna click done. And that is it for this landing page. So we're good to go here, but we're not done with the whole conversion tracking process. We're gonna click on publish. We're gonna to go to the thank you page and we're gonna add this here as well. We're gonna say add new JavaScript, same thing. We're gonna select head and we're gonna say Microsoft Ads UET tag. So as you can see, all I'm doing here is I'm just adding the code to every single page of my site, or in this case, my funnel, which includes my landing page and my thank you page. Okay, that's all I'm doing here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save, hit save. And uh, this page is saved, this is good, and now this is saved. Okay, so we have successfully added the code to the page. So we could check this, okay? So let's go back and let's open this URL. And let's just check and make sure that the code is successfully installed on the page. So you can open link in a new tab. This is that page. Let's open the thank you page and just look at the thank you page. Uh, and we're just gonna check, okay, and make sure that the code is here. So I'm using an extension called uh, Microsoft UET Tag Helper. You can get this extension by just go, going to Google and typing in you know, Microsoft UET Tag Helper and just download. It's gonna be a Chrome extension, okay? I, I do suggest you use Chrome for sort of testing. It is 
uh, browser that just makes it easier for you to test and make sure the page, the code is on the page. If you don't want to install anything, uh, what you can do is do it the hard way is click on view page source, and then you can find the code here. So you can obviously control F and you can find the code here, right? By for example, uh, what's our code? Like just type in this ID, for example. So I'm gonna copy this ID because uh, it's right there. See, so it's within the code. We're gonna paste it here and boom, it's right here, okay? But this is, you know, if you don't wanna get involved in this mess, uh, it's uh, quite simple to just install this UET tag helper. So what you're gonna do is click on off, like once you download this, this extension, it's gonna be here, and then we're gonna refresh the page. And then here you're gonna see a little one. See now it says one in green, so you click on that and boom. It says UET tag is set up correctly. Make sure this ID is yours, because if you heard testing a different page and you know this ID isn't yours, then no, you did not set it up correctly. So it starts with 214, uh, 2514 ends in 93. So let's double check. 2514 ends in 93. Okay, so we have confirmed that this is our tag. Okay, perfect. Let's check our thank you page. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna click on, we're gonna click refresh. And lo and behold, it has it is set up correctly. 2514 ends in 93. Okay, so that's perfect. So now we have to actually set up the conversion tracking. So we have set up everything on the back end. We have integrated our website with uh, Microsoft Ads, but now we have to actually set up the conversions. So we're gonna close out of this, okay? Here is our code right there, or our, our tag. And what we're gonna do now is click on Tools, click on Conversion Goals. And this is going to be a little bit different compared with Google Ads. If you watched my Google Ads conversion tracking video, you will know that we have to add code on the page we wanna track. But that's not the case here. With Microsoft Ads, we only have to add the code one time. So here again, as you can see, I have several conversions. You can remove the conversion goals that you don't want here, unlike UET tags, uh, but we're just gonna leave it as is. So let's imagine we want to specifically track how many people sign up, right? Which means we wanna track how many people land on this thank you page, all right? So what we're gonna do is click on create conversion goal. We're going to enter a name. So let's say this is Ted's Woodworking signups, right? Because we're tracking how many people sign up for the free guide, or let's say Ted's Woodworking, let's say guide signups. You're gonna leave it at destination URL. You're gonna click on next. For this scenario, you can just select contains, okay? And now what you're gonna do is select the part of the URL that you want people to land on to track. So for example, we wanna track how many people land on this page. So our URL should contain thank you right here, this part right here, right? Notice how the landing page doesn't have thank you, but the thank you page has thank you in the URL. So we're gonna copy this thank you, we're gonna go back to Microsoft Ads and paste it here. And so if the URL contains thank you, then a conversion will trigger. Microsoft Ads will show a conversion in your account. How does Microsoft Ads know that somebody landed on this page that says thank you? Well, because we added the code, remember? We added this code on the page. That's how they are able to communicate. So all you have to do here is write thank you and that is pretty much it. Now for the goal category, this is, you know, this is up to you. You can say, for example, purchase. And if somebody signs up, it's gonna say purchase. But as long as you know what the conversion means, that's all that matters, okay? So we will stick to the status quo and we will say sign up. But just letting you know, this isn't, like if you said purchase and it's actually a sign up, you're not gonna get in trouble. You're not gonna see wrong data. It's just that for conversions, it's gonna say purchase, whereas it's actually a sign up. But as long as you know what category it is, that's all that matters. But we're gonna say sign up here. We're gonna say on this account only, which is this test account. We're gonna scroll down. You can enter a conversion value. So if you've done the math and you know your funnel well enough to be able to tell how much each conversion is worth to you, you can enter a value here. You can say each conversion is equal to a specific value or a conversion will differ. If you are doing this method, I do suggest that you get a developer. You will have to customize your UET tag with a custom token. I don't do that. I don't use this myself. So you can either select you know, a flat amount or just not assign a value. The main thing here, guys, is to see the actual conversion data. So even if you don't see like the actual conversion amount, like say $5, that's okay. The main thing is for us to be able to show that a conversion has taken place, okay? You can do the math yourself. Uh, worst comes to worst, right? The main thing is just to have the conversion show up. So we're gonna click on don't assign a value here and over here for count. So you can also say, so if you are an e-commerce store and you have one person buy five items, for example, do you wanna count that as five conversions if you select this option or one conversion? Okay, so this is up to you. Uh, I do like to send more conversion data over for sales. 
So if it's a purchase, I would like to count, like if one person buys five things, I would like to say five conversions. Uh, but if it's a sign up, I would go with one, uh, just unique, because one person can't sign up multiple times, right? That's just gonna be bad data. So I would go with unique for signups. The conversion window is the period of time between which a person clicks on your ad and then makes a sale. So I think 30 days is a good number to keep here, but this depends on you. The larger scale, the item, like if it's a, you know, a house, a car, people usually take a while to do the shopping for these big scale items, right? So they're not gonna forget you within the 90 days. But if you're talking about like buying a pen, 90 days might be too much because people forget. Like they're not gonna remember 90 days later that they were looking for a pen. So what this means is, just to give you an example, if we select 30 here, if somebody clicks on your ad and they make the sale 35 days later, it will not show up as a conversion if you set your conversion window to 30. Now, if somebody buys within 29 days, then you know even though 29 days has passed, they didn't buy right away, but they bought 29 days later, you will still see a conversion. So that's what this is. Uh, again, I usually leave it for 30 for, you know, for us affiliates, we usually have a shorter time frame. We usually have smaller, smaller scale items. Uh, view through conversion is if somebody sees your ad, like, an, like if they just see the, the ad as an impression, but they don't click on it and they still make a sale, uh, like how long do you want to give them? So again, I usually leave this at one day. I usually don't mess with this. And that's pretty much it for that. So over here, you can select whether you want the conversions to show up in your conversion column under all conversions. So yes, you generally do want to keep this check marked. The exception is uh, if you have many different conversion goals and you do want the conversions to be recorded, but you don't want them to show up in your actual conversions columns because you have so many different other conversions which matter to you like purchases or like uh, upsell purchases, things like that. Uh, so in that case, you would wanna deselect it. But in our case, we're really only tracking signups here. So we definitely want to show uh, and see our conversions. And that is pretty much it. So, uh, you know, you wanna confirm which UET tag you are using. So we are using this UET tag. Uh, you don't have to redo the whole thing, copy it. We've already done that. And we're gonna click on save. And that is pretty much it, okay? So you are done. You have successfully set up conversion tracking. So now in your account, for example, for the campaign, I have conversions right here, the conversion column. And if you want to, if you don't see this column, you can click on columns here, click on modify columns, go to conversions, and you can find the conversions right here. And you can add other things too. You can add conversion rate, your cost per action or cost per conversion. Um, you can say all conversions. So Here's the difference, by the way. Remember when I told you before that you can add conversions to the column? Like it gave you the choice, right? Before we hit save, it said, do you want to add these conversions in the column? So if you said yes to that, then they will show up under conversions. If you said no to that, then they will show up under all conversions, but they will not show up under conversions, okay? So that's kind of the difference there. So if you do have a, like, again, this is more so not for us affiliates. This is more so for like maybe e-commerce people where you have a bunch of different call to actions. Maybe you have like chat support, you have phone support, you have like email me, like you have all these different types of conversions uh, and you don't want to record all of them. Uh, this could be where uh, this would come in handy. So things like that, that's how this works, right? Make sure you, again, select conversions, at least this is the main thing, or all conversions, that's fine too. And you will see it here. And then if you go to, for example, ads, you know, you'll be able to see which ads perform better. Uh, if I have conversions here, yes, I have conversions here. Uh, keywords, right, again, you can see it here as well. If we scroll to the right, conversions right here, right? And then you do the same thing. Like you go to location, you go to, for example, demographics, right? If you wanna see which genders perform better, you go over here and here you see conversions now, okay? Uh, so that's just what I wanted to share with you here in this video. If you enjoyed this video, you will definitely like my other videos, guys. Take a look at my YouTube channel at Ivan Mana. I have a bunch of videos like this that help you make money online. And if you still haven't received my affiliate marketing guide, I strongly suggest you check it out at ivanmana.com. It's a free 55 page affiliate marketing guide that teaches you everything you need to know about what affiliate marketing is, how to get it started, how to use it, and how to make money with it. All right, so definitely take a look at ivanmana.com. That being said, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.